What is up, you guys? Gosh, it has been way too long. Gosh, I think it's almost been like 11 months or something like that. It's been really busy. I had a job, I was doing graphic design and it was going really well. I'm not there anymore. I just got hired on uh, at a new marketing company as a videographer and editor and DP and whatever you wanna call it. So I'm really excited about that. Another thing that I've been doing that's been taking up a lot of my time is making these wallets. Leather wallets, full grain, 100% handmade leather wallets. Now I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, here's Peter McKinnon again. This is the bench. That's where I store all my leather. These are my hand tools, this is where I work. A couple keychains for a couple buddies here today. Trying to finish up a bag that I was making for somebody. Storage and tools and other things that we're making. The truth is, is that's where I saw it. I saw uh, Peter McKinnon and Ryan from Little King Goods making uh, leather goods and it really interested me and I was like, man, that looks really cool, I wanna try it. So I decided to try it and it's been going really well. People really like them. And so I made wallets uh, like this. This is just one of the bifold wallets. This is called the Huey keychains, just like this with this mil spec uh, clip right here. Those are pretty cool. I'm gonna leave the link in the description to the website. It's just palmaryleatherco.com. Yeah guys, it has been so busy and I feel really bad for just kind of, I don't know, I just took a long break and, and, and I was busy and I was doing all these things. And now I'm back and I'm super excited to be back. So for all the new people that have subscribed to the channel since I've been gone the last 11 months, thank you for subscribing. But guys, today we're gonna be talking about something that is so cool. One of the things that I've been trying to do since I started doing video is to make my videos look cinematic, make them look like Hollywood films. I've been trying to figure out the the thing, that, that thing that just makes films look like film stuff like color grading adding the black bars film grain you know different things like that that make your videos look more cinematic but the one thing that is really hard to nail that everybody is doing in hollywood nowadays is using anamorphic lenses what i'm going to be doing today guys is i'm going to be teaching you how to get the anamorphic lens look without having an anamorphic lens all right here on a new episode of Nicola Maserati teaches Premiere Pro. Let's run the intro. All right guys, we are in Adobe Premiere Pro right now and the clip that we're gonna be editing to make more cinematic is going to be this clip right here with this guy walking. So the first thing about this clip is this is obviously filmed in a 16 by nine format with a standard uh, either DSLR or mirrorless so that's one of the things you can notice right there now if we go to our reference image here obviously one of the first things that you notice about any anamorphic lens is the aspect ratio so the aspect ratio is 235 to 1 versus 16 by 9 here one of the ways you can tell these have those cinematic black bars now we're going to be doing that but that's not all we're going to be doing there's going to be a couple other things that we're going to do as well uh, one of the other main things that you notice with anamorphic lenses is you get this thing called barrel distortion so if you look at kind of the uh, the buildings kind of around him you can notice that they're not straight all these lines here aren't straight and that's one of the things that we notice when we're seeing, we're not thinking about it. When we're watching a movie, we don't really notice it, but this is one of the big things that help make a video look more cinematic and more anamorphic because this is what we're used to seeing when we're watching films nowadays because everything's filmed with anamorphic lenses. So one of the other things we're gonna be doing other than changing the aspect ratio is we're going to be adding some barrel distortion and that's gonna help kind of make uh, your, your videos look a little bit more cinematic and make it look like it was filmed with an anamorphic lens. So aspect ratio here, 16 by nine, which is pretty standard. Now, personally, when I do this now, I don't add the crop to get those cinematic black bars. Instead, what I do is I click on the clip, I go to sequence, go to sequence settings, as you can see, this was filmed in 1920 by 1080, 16 by nine aspect ratio. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the vertical and I'm gonna change that to 816. Everything else stays the same, you hit okay. It's gonna give you a little, uh, little warning here, just letting you know that you're doing something that you won't be able to change. Hit okay. 
and now we have that aspect ratio that 235 to 1 aspect ratio so as you can see it's taking up a lot more horizontal space within the program window next thing you're going to want to do is create an adjustment layer that way if you don't like the way something looks it's not destructive to the clip that you're using so you're going to go down to this little new item tab here you're going to click that scroll up to adjustment layer to be 1920 by 816 because that's our new sequence you're going to click ok you're going to take that you're going to drag it over and then drag it throughout the duration of your clip make sure that the adjustment layer is selected and then you're going to go to your effects panel you're going to type in lens distortion scroll all the way down under the video effects distort and then lens distortion you're going to take that and you're going to drag it over so once you've added the lens distortion to your adjustment layer you're going to see it here in your effect controls panel. And the only two things that we're going to focus on are curvature and vertical decentering. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set your curvature to 9. And you're going to want to set your vertical decentering to 1. And you can see we kind of ran into a little bit of a problem here with these kind of white outlines, this white framing. So we're going to fix that. The way we're going to fix that is we're going to go to our effects panel again. We're going to type in transform. Again, you're going to find it under the distort tab. You're going to take that and you're going to drag that over to your adjustment layer. Once you've dragged it over to your adjustment layer, you're going to go back to effect controls. You're going to scroll down. You're going to see the transform here. The main thing that we're going to focus on here is the scale in the transform tab. So all you're going to do is take that, type in 110, hit enter and you're good to go. So what we've mainly done is we've changed two things. We've changed the aspect ratio to a 235 to one, the anamorphic aspect ratio, and we've added that barrel distortion. So if we look back at our reference image, one of the things we see, we notice that there's some barrel distortion going here. The lines aren't straight. We go back in here, there it is. Now, if we were to turn off our adjustment layer, you can see what's changed. There's before. And there's after. So one of the other things that happen when filming with anamorphic lenses are kind of a side effect of anamorphic lenses and those are chromatic aberrations or color fringing. So even though we look at chromatic aberrations or color fringing as a bad thing, it's something that's still present in a lot of Hollywood films. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add chromatic aberrations to our video. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to your effects tab again and you're gonna type in chromatic, and you can see it right here. You just take that, drag that over to your adjustment layer. Now, as you can see, it looks like we're watching this video through an acid trip, so we're gonna go ahead and change that. We're gonna scroll down to the chromatic aberration. We're gonna change the red aberration to negative one, and we're gonna change the blue to one. Now, if we zoom in here to 200%, you can see that those chromatic aberrations are present and they're kind of hard to notice and they're very subtle, but they are there. So if I toggle the effect off and then toggle it back on, you can see that those chromatic aberrations exist. You can see it just right down here. I'll turn it off again and back on right here. Now, like I said, they're very subtle, but they do exist. They are there. This is just another subtle thing. It's the small things that count when you're trying to make your videos look more cinematic. And this is one of those things. All right, so now that we've done all those steps, let's take a look at the finished project. So to me, that looks a lot more cinematic. It looks a lot better. The aspect ratio has changed. We've added barrel distortion. We've added chromatic abrasions. It looks really good and I couldn't be happier with it. Now, another thing that you can do, not something that I'm gonna teach in here, uh, but you can go in and you can do some color grading just to give more of that cinematic feel. This is obviously a very bright, not whole lot of contrast uh, video. So you could go in, color it, make it look more cinematic that way. But when you combine color grading with this technique, your videos are gonna look so freaking cinematic. People are gonna think that you shot this with a red. All right, so now that you've done all those steps, you've added the barrel distortion or the lens distortion, the transform and the chromatic aberrations. What you're gonna do is you're gonna save this as a preset so you don't have to go back and do this again. So you're gonna click the first one, the lens distortion. You're gonna hold down command or control if you're on a PC. You're then gonna go down to the transform. You're gonna click that while holding the command or control key. Continue holding the command or control key. You're gonna hit chromatic aberrations. You're then going to right click and you're going to go to save preset. Now you can name this whatever you want. If you want to name it an uh, anamorphic, anamorphic 
video. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. I already have a preset saved for that. But once you do that, make sure the scale is checked and you're going to go ahead and click OK. All right, guys. So let's get back to my face. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something from it. If you did, please feel free to hit that like button below. You know what? I really want to know what you guys think of this video. So comment below. And if you're going to start doing this and uploading it to YouTube, leave the link in the comments because I want to see them. I want to check them out and see how it came out. And guys, don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to that 1000 mark. So don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Whew.